Good morning. I'm Jeff Nadler. I'm the CIO at uh, Teladoc Health. Uh, we are a global virtual healthcare company. We've been using vision technology or vision tech since 2010 to facilitate virtual uh, chats or virtual interactions between members and patients. We've been using high-res photos uh, taken from uh, smartphones since 2016 to help in uh, diagnosing and treating um, dermatological issues. But we are not a developer of these technologies. We are a user of them. We apply them. Uh, we apply them to uh, facilitate, <clears throat> excuse me, um, more and better virtual, uh, virtual healthcare. So what I've done today is uh, pulled together a few of my favorite um, cool uh, vision tech uh, technologies that we think have a future in virtual medicine. Um, let me, as a reference point, um, in last year, we did over two and a half million virtual visits. Uh, this year, we're on pace to do over three and a half uh, million visits. Um, up until a few years ago, uh, we had one product, one service line, it's our general virtual urgent care. We treat colds, sniffles, fevers, headache, allergies, flu. Um, and in the last two to three years, we've vastly expanded our service lines to include dermatology, uh, behavioral health, sexual health, tobacco cessation, et cetera. It's well known and well documented that Vision Tech has great applications in medical imaging and radiology. In fact, earlier this week, Google published uh, results about some of their technology um, meeting or beating um, results against professionals in the field of, uh, uh, in radiology. Um, but my focus is on more on today is more on lower cost uh, technologies and tools, things that can be used in the home. They're cool, they're low cost, they're easy to use, they're seamless, and many of them are leveraging these great little boxes we all have in our front pockets called uh, smartphones. So let's start with uh, vital signs. Almost every single brick and mortar or in-person visit with a doctor begins with capturing vital signs. We can't really do that. We certainly can't do it easily today in virtual healthcare. Um, there are some technologies, some are better than others, disclaimer. Uh, some have academic studies proving accuracy and reliability, and some of them are settling legal matters with the FTC on their claims of uh, what they can, can and cannot do. But if, if you look at the picture on the left, leveraging the video camera as a sensor to detect uh, uh, the way the light changes based on the flow of your finger uh, is a technique being used to capture blood pressure. Um, the picture on the right shows um, a picture of an individual's face that um, using advanced vision uh, algorithms and technologies can detect differences in color uh, in your face to detect your heartbeat. So maybe not quite ready for prime time today for Teladoc, um, but as Evan said, if not, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Uh, visual dermatology, there's great technology coming out now that can analyze a high resolution image of a rash or possibly a mole uh, to pre-screen for cancer, to diagnose some kind of dermatological issue. Not necessarily to replace your physician, um, but to make, uh, to avoid the need for a trip to the dermatologist, maybe to, um, um, allay a certain fear about a mole that you just spotted. It's late at night. Uh, your doctor's not available. Um, the technology can today is demonstrating that it can screen, uh, can screen for cancer, and it can it can diagnose and and also monitor um, the healing of a wound. This is a pretty cool one, uh, virtual physical therapy. So using technology developed by Microsoft in conjunction with a 3D camera. Um, most people, myself included, have, have been to physical therapy. Uh, it's kind of inconvenient 
you know, you got to leave work in the middle of the day, you got to change your clothes, you got to wait, and you, you know, go on your path through the machines, and you get a little bit of time with a, uh, with a, with a physical therapist. At home physical therapy, monitoring um, some uh, 26 different joints and angles and, and your positioning with a real time feedback coming from a, a live coach or an avatar. Pretty cool. We think this has a great potential in the, uh, in the virtual healthcare space. Most of us are familiar with the dipstick um, used by most physician offices for urinalysis. There's some great technology just coming out, still a dipstick, um, but you can do this at home. And then after placing it into their device and using your camera, uh, the vision technology can actually read the results and interpret them uh, for you. This has great potential, again, for Teladoc and, and our virtual uh, vision of the virtual visits of the future. Um, and lastly, pediatric, uh, sorry, pediatric ophthalmology using a low-cost smartphone, leveraging the, um, uh, the strobe and some uh, machine learning algorithms. Um, the technology enables um, pedi uh, pediat pediatricians, not necessarily trained in ophthalmology, uh, to screen out for things like lazy eye, um, nearsightedness, farsightedness, and possibly even um, more uh, serious issues like um, uh, cancers of the eye. That's our vision for the future. Thank you all. And as again, as Evan said, it's not so much a question of if, it's a question of when. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah.